Party scenes in horror films have been a long tradition ever since the genre boomed in the 1980s, with the genre turning towards a younger audience after the more mature horror films of the 60s and 70s, this meant that horror movies could pander to a teenage audience by involving elements of nihilistic party culture that was rampant during that era. Silly party scenes, particularly set at Halloween, became a horror movie staple that evolved as time went on. Whilst party massacre scenes in films are quite rare, they stand out as some of the more memorable moments from the horror movies in which they featured. I'm Tilly from What Culture, and these are 8 crazy party massacre scenes in horror movies. 8. Sweatshop a smashing rave. Sweatshop is a long-forgotten, low-budget, independent slasher movie from 2009, with a focus on crazy scenes of blood and gore. The plot revolves around a group of young adults who break into a warehouse to set up an impromptu party before they each get killed off, one after another by a giant undead monster wielding an anvil on a pole. As you do. The most entertaining part of the movie comes after over an hour of boring dialogue and unimpressive scares, where the beast crashes the party and starts massacring the guests in very gruesome ways. The ravers panic and try to flee, but they quickly find themselves trapped inside with the killer. This prolonged scene of slaughter ends when the film's protagonist finds a way out via a shutter that nearly closes in on her, allowing her to escape while the rest of the ravers are locked inside at the mercy of the beast, their terrified screams bellowing from within. The pounding music, neon colour palette and crazy special effects definitely make this film stand out amongst other independent horror films of its era. Whilst the movie itself may be painful to sit through, this climactic scene is definitely worth the wait for the gory glory alone. 7. You're Next – A Terrible Dinner Party Your Next was a huge hit when it was released in 2011. Critics and audiences raved about this fresh take on slasher movies that eradicated some of the tired cliches of the genre. Whilst it doesn't contain a specific massacre scene, the whole movie can be interpreted as a dinner party massacre and one of the goriest put to film. The plot revolves around a couple, Erin and Crispin, going to a family reunion in Missouri. While the dinner party itself plays out in a comedically awkward manner, a crossbow bolt flies through the window, killing one of the guests. After another guest gets herself decapitated by a suspiciously perfectly placed piece of piano wire, it's revealed the whole family have become victims of a group of animal mask wearing murderers, leaving Erin the task of helping everyone survive the carnage through inventive saw like traps and pure fury. Your Next was made by an independent filmmaker, Adam Wingard, whose career skyrocketed because of the immense success and warm reception, and he would go on to make The Guest, Blair Witch, and the Death Note remake, which we won't talk about. However, this movie still stands stands out as one of his most memorable as its gore-soaked dinner party plot won't easily be forgotten. 6. Ghost Ship – 1960s Party Boat Although reception towards the movie was lukewarm at best, this film is best remembered as a stepping stone for future stars such as Gabriel Byrne and Carl Urban. However, Ghost Ship also features one of the best party massacre scenes in horror films during its first five minutes. Ghost Ship opens up on a luxury liner in the 1960s, where smiling party guests dance and drink to the sounds of a beautiful lounge singer, the film's opening credits rolling lazily in the background. The relaxed atmosphere continues for a while before a faceless figure Figure puts into motion a deadly plan. A flip of a switch, a whirling of mechanisms, and a spool of thick metal wire is pulled taut. The spool snaps and the wire flies across the dance floor at speed, cutting through everybody present so quickly they can't tell what's happened. It isn't long before the bodies of the guests slump to the floor in grisly pieces, leaving only a young girl behind because she was too short to be killed by the wire. Whilst the movie is largely forgettable, the opening massacre sequence is unforgettable because of its visual style style, great special effects, and shocking amount of death for the first scene of a horror movie. It's just a shame that the rest of the movie couldn't match the bar set by this opening number. 5. A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2 – Pool Party Crasher Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2 is a very strange sequel. Whilst Freddy Krueger is a haunting demon in the first movie, based upon the real experiences of nightmare-suffering Hmong refugees who refuse to sleep, in Part 2 he plays the metaphorical role of latent homosexuality. It isn't a very well-received movie, nor is it well-remembered with fans, but it's worth a watch solely for its special effects work and silly sequences, such as the pool party scene. The sequence begins when Freddy separates himself from victim Jesse in an impressive display of effects wizardry. 
surgery. He then heads off to slaughter the guests at a party held by Jesse's girlfriend Lisa. Freddy kills one partygoer and burns a few more by setting fire to the pool before making his way to the other guests as they cower in a corner, unable to escape thanks to Freddy's demonic powers. The scene only ends when Lisa's father draws a shotgun on Freddy, leaving him to walk away into the night. Although it's underwhelming as far as massacre scenes go with a limited body count and relatively slow pacing, it nonetheless emphasises the power of Kruger and his deranged bloodlust previously seen only in dream sequences. With the fire and torment he brings upon the guests, it's possible that this scene was a major inspiration for Jason's Cornfield Massacre in Freddy vs. Jason. 4. Blade Vampire Bloodfest. Blade was one of the biggest action horror flicks of the 1990s. Based upon a Marvel Comics character and starring Wesley Snipes at the height of his career, this movie is violent, gory, and packed full of hard-hitting action sequences that will leave you wanting a nap to calm down afterwards. The tone of extravagant action horror is cemented within the first scene of the movie, where a cavalcade of vampires hold a rave party in a meatpacking plant. The party intensifies as blood begins to spray from ceiling sprinklers, dousing the dancers in buckets of crimson hue. One of the unfortunate humans who gets pulled into the rave tries to escape but runs into Blade, and the daywalker wastes no time in blowing apart vampires one by one with various weaponry in a fantastically 90s style action sequence that lasts for four minutes. Although the vampires don't explode into pools of gore, a decision that was probably made to avoid an NC-17 rating, the scene is nonetheless one of the most memorable when it comes to action horror films. The frantic energy and smooth choreography make the scene wildly entertaining to watch. It cements Blade as a badass in the story and sets a high standard for future mature superhero films. 3. Piranha 3D – Spring Break Slaughter Piranha 3D tells the story of a spring break party gone wrong as giant ancient piranhas rampage through the waters, slaughtering all they can see. The pinnacle scene is when all is going well for a wild party near Lake Victoria, with topless girls and a very excitable Eli Roth egging them on. The piranhas find their way into the midst of it all. The result is an absolute bloodbath as people try to escape from the waters with wounds and missing body parts, the ensuing frenzy causing multiple casualties as people desperately try to escape on speedboats. The imagination behind all this is astounding with inventive scenes of slaughter left, right and centre. The special effects are nothing less than stellar with blood and guts in the bucketful and some very realistic effects on show when people are finally pulled out of the water. The amount of carnage in this one scene is something that has yet to be matched by any other film before or since. 2. Brain Dead party's over. Peter Jackson's Brain Dead is well remembered as one of the silliest and goriest films ever made. Still in his splatstick era of filmmaking, Jackson put together this zombie comedy that was revolutionary for the time for its offbeat humour and exaggerated violence that would go on to inspire Shaun of the Dead, Zombieland and Dead Snow. The most iconic part of the movie has to be the insane finale, where a large manor house, one which houses demented zombies in its basement, is invaded by a large group of people having a nine 1950s style party. In an attempt to kill off the zombies while the party is going on, Lionel, the protagonist, injects them with a poison and buries them. However, it turns out that the poison is actually a powerful stimulant, thus creating super zombies that rampage through the party, killing everyone they see. It's a massacre of insane proportions, as guests fight for their lives against an increasing horde of bloodthirsty undead. The massacre reaches its climax when Lionel bursts through the main door like an avenging angel, lawnmower in hand, to deliver a gory death upon all all the now undead party guests. And in this scene alone, blood was pumped out at five gallons per second. One. The Collection, Whirling Massacre. The successor to 2010 torture porn film The Collector, The Collection turns up everything that made the first one a hit with horror fans. The opening scene alone shocked audiences, setting the tone with a party that explodes in a shower of blood and gore. The Collection's party scene begins with neon lights and 90s rave music as the creepy masked figure looks down from above. Elena, the protagonist from the first movie, ditches the party and in a twist of fate, comes across The Collector's signature red body box and frees the poor sap trapped inside. This sets off a confusing sequence of Ruby Goldberg's machinery, which results in what can only be described as a combine harvester reel dropping from the ceiling and absolutely liquidating every single one of the unfortunate ravers who didn't think to drop to the floor. It's a horrifically silly sequence that has yet to be topped in terms of sheer spectacle. Whilst the movie wasn't received well critically, it was nonetheless a hit with horror fans who loved the inventive creativity that led to scenes such as this. 